Hello children, today in this video we are going to start our new exercise, exercise 4.3. Before starting this exercise, there are few terms which should be clear, which is highest common factor. Highest common factor or HCF also or greatest common divisor or GCD. Highest common factor is also known as greatest common divisor or GCD. For calculating the HCF of any two or any three numbers, there are basically three methods. Common factor method, prime factorization method and division method. So these methods will be clear to you when we will do in our exercise. So let's start the exercise, exercise 4.3. Question 1 is not there in is not there in your syllabus. So we'll start with question number 2. By using prime factorization method, find the HCF of 6 and 7. This prime factorization you have done in the previous exercise also. So you are aware of this prime factorization. How to calculate the prime factors? So prime factorization of 6. From here you will get the prime factors 2 into 3 into 1. And prime factor factors of 7 is 7 into 1. What is common in these two? Only 1 is common. So common factor is 1. HCF of 6 and 7 is 1. Second part, 28 and 58. Prime factors of 28, from here you can see 2 into 2 into 7 into 1. And prime factors of 58, 2 into 29 into 1. Common is 2 and 1. Common factors 2 into 1. So HCF is 2 into 1 is 2. Next is, we have to write the prime factors or calculate the HCF of 24, 46 and 78. So prime factors of 24, 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 1. From here I have written prime factors of 46, 2 into 23 into 1. And prime factors of 78, 2 into 3 into 13 into 1. This I have written. Write the common factors. 2 is common and 1 is common. So 2 into 1 is 2. HCF is 2. Fourth part, 13, 26, 39 and 156. It is very clear, 13 prime factors are 13 and 1. 26 is coming in the table of 13 only. So 2 into 13 into 1. 39, again 3 into 13 into 1. 156 you can solve here. 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 into 1. So 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 into 1. Common number from these four are 3 and 1. Sorry, 13 and 1. So 13 into 1 is 13 is the HCF. Question number third. By using division method, find the HCF of. Now how to divide and how to solve the HCF. Two numbers are given to us, 18 and 28. See which one is the smaller in this. 18 is smaller. 18 is will be our divisor. And the greater number will be our dividend. So 18 will be our divisor and 28 will be our dividend. Divided 18 ones are 18. Subtract it, you will get 10. Whatever is your divisor, bring it down as a dividend. 10 ones are 10. Subtract, you will get 8. Divisor will be your dividend. 8 ones are 8. Subtract, you will get 2. Divisor as a dividend. So 2 fours are 8. Whatever is the last divisor you are getting will be your HCF. HCF of 18 and 28 is 2. Second part, 15 and 25. Now it's clear, 15 is smaller, so it will be the divisor and 25 will be your dividend. So 15 divided by 25. 15 ones are 15. Subtract, you will get 10. 15 will come here. 10 ones are 10. 15 minus 10 is 5. Bring this 10 here. 5 to the 10. 10 minus 10, 0. Last number or last divisor will be our HCF. HCF of 15 and 25 is 5. Next part. Three numbers are given to you. 12, 38 and 56. First of all, take first two numbers. 12 and 38. So 12 will be our divisor, 38 dividend. 12, 3 is a 36. When you will subtract, you will get 2. Divide it. Bring this 12 here. 2, 6 is a 12. Subtract, you will get 0. What is the last divisor you are getting? 2. Divide the third number by 2. 56, we have to divide by 2. 2, 2 is a 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring the 6 down. 2, 8 is a 
16 0 last number is 2 so 2 will be our hcl similarly we can solve the fourth part also in this four numbers are given to you take first two numbers 18 and 28 18 and 28 when you will divide you will get here 18 ones are 18 subtract 10 bring this 18 here 10 ones are 10 subtract you will get 8 10 here i will bring 8 ones are 8 when i will subtract i will get 2 i will bring 8 here then 2 4 is 8 it is 0 remainder last divisor will be i will divide the next number with last divisor next number is 48 divided by 2 2 2 is 4 bring 8 down 2 4 is 8 again last number is 2 only so divide this last number by 2 so 78 divided by 2, 2 3 is a 6, 7 minus 6 is 1, bring this it down, 2 9 is a 18. What is the last divisor over here? 2. So HCF of these 4 numbers is 2. Fourth question, using all the 3 methods, find the HCF of 20, 25, 35 and 50. 3 methods, first one is your prime factorization, then common factor method and then division method. So first method we will do first of all prime factorization method. Prime factors of 20, 2 into 2 into 5 into 1. This you can do in your rough work also. Prime factors of 25, 5 into 5 into 1. Prime factors of 35, 7 into 5 into 1. And prime factors of 50, 2 into 5 into 5 into 1. What is common in this? 5 and 1. So 5 ones are 5 is the HCF. Second method is common factor method. So write the factors of 20. In which table 20 is coming? 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. Factors of 25, 1, 5 and 25. Factors of 35, 1, 5, 7, 35. Factors of 50, 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, 50. Write the common factors 1 and 5. So highest is 5. I will write 5 as the HCF. Last is the division method. Divide the first two numbers 20 and 25. 20 ones are 20. Subtract you will get 5 over here. Bring 20 here. 5 fours are 20. Remainder 0. Last divisor is 5. So divide the next number by the last divisor. Next number is 35. 5 7 is 35. Here also last divisor is 5 only. Divide the last number by 5. 50 divided by 5. 5 10 is 50. So our last divisor which is coming is 5. Therefore the HCF is 5. Next find the greatest number that divides 306, 450, and 540 completely. Which number we have to find out? Greatest number. Greatest common divisor we have to find out. It means what we are going to calculate? GCD or HCF we have to calculate. So calculate the HCF of 306, 450 and 540. By prime factorization method I have solved. Here I have solved the prime factors. So prime factors of 306 you will get 2 into 3 into 3 into 17 into 1. Prime factors of 450. 2 into 3, 3 into 5, 5 into 1. And prime factors of 540. 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 5 into 1. See which are the common factors. 2 is common, 3 is common and 3 is common. So 2, 3 is a 6, 6, 3 is a 18. Common factors are 18. Next is six question. Find the greatest number that will divide 132, 242 and 382 leaving a remainder 2 in each case. Now whenever in the question remainder is given to you what we are going to do? We will subtract the remainder from the given numbers. Every time, whenever remainder is given to you, we will first of all subtract the remainder from the given numbers. So numbers are 132 minus remainder, 242 minus remainder and 382 minus remainder. 
when you will subtract 130 240 and 380 you will get now calculate the hcf because they have told you greatest number greatest number means gcd or hcf so hcf of 130 and 240 130 is smaller 240 is greater number so divided 240 by 130 130 ones 130 when you will subtract you will get 110 bring this 130 down 110 multiply by 1 is equal to 110 subtract you will get 20 bring 110 here 25 is 100 when you will subtract you will get 10 over here bring 20 10 into 2 20 so last number which is the divisor is 10 divide the next number by 10 380 divided by 10 10 into 38 is equal to 380 very simple so last divisor is 10 therefore the hcf or gcd or the greatest number will be 10 last question of this exercise is similar to the previous one only find the greatest number that will divide 95 114 and 129 again leaving the remainders 5 4 and 3 95 is leaving the remainder 5 114 leaving the remainder 4 and 129 leaving the remainder 3 so subtract these numbers 95 minus 5 90 114 minus 4 110 and 129 minus 3 is 126 now find the hcf of these three numbers it is 90 divided by 110 90 ones are 90 when you will subtract you will get 20 bring this 90 down 24 is 80 when you will subtract you will get 10 here and next bring this 20 down 10 into 10 into 2 is 20 so 0 last number last divisor is 10 so divide 126 by 10 10 into 12 is equals to directly also you can write 10 into 12 is equal to 120 or 10 ones are 10 subtract you will get 2 and 6 here 10 twos are 20 remainder will be 6 bring this 10 down 6 ones are 6 remainder will be 4 bring 6 down 4 ones are 4 remainder will be 2 bring this 4 down 2 twos are 4 remainder is 0 so whatever the last divisor that will be your hcf or greatest number so children complete this exercise in your notebooks. Thank you children.